that the Lord, but every devotee feels happiness in their relationship with the Lord. So there's no question of higher and lower. Everybody is equal in the terms in terms of devotional service. Just like uh, somebody somebody's doing hearing and chanting, somebody else is engaged in services directly to the Lord, and like maybe they're a personal servant to the Lord. Somebody may massage the lotus feet of the Lord and somebody else is taking and dressing the hair of the Lord. Somebody else is the, go the doorkeeper, but everybody's getting some happiness from his own service. So we may, we may think, oh, there's a, some rank, there's some level, you know, if one devotee is more important than another. We think like that here in the material world, but in the spiritual world they don't think like that. spiritual world all the devotees are completely satisfied and happy. Now among the people in Vaikuntha there are different kinds of uh, devotees. Some of them are eternal associates of Lord Krishna. Right. And, but others, they've, they've, they've just come to Vaikuntha by the mercy of the Lord. So they're just entering the Vaikuntha. So we want to understand that because we may we may think oh all the devotees are the same but there are there are some differences between the devotees some of them have always been there people like Anantashesha, Garuda, they've always been there in the Vaikuntha. But you've got other devotees who have just come from the material world.
people like Bharat Maharaj and Priyavrata and Jaya and Vijaya. Right? They've just come from the material world and they've come to Vaikuntha to become associates of the Lord. Just recently, they just recently came there. So, although everybody is equal, still there are some differences. Some devotees are, serve the, they serve the Lord from a distance and some serve Him very closely, very intimately. Some different, so we see different qualities among the service of the devotees. So everybody enjoys the ecstasy of worshipping the Lord, but there are some differences. Just like sometimes the Lord of Vaikuntha will go to the material world, he'll, he will appear in the material world, he'll, he'll uh, incarnate. So at that, that time he may take some devotees with him, some special devotees to get to accompany him. So we should understand that there's no real difference in what, per what a person achieves in their devotional service. But there's difference in the services which they do. So all the devotees are equal to the Lord in the sense that they're being eternal, but still there's a difference between the Lord and the devotees because the Lord is, this, he's, he's, he is the one who's being served and the devotees are the servants. So that difference between the Lord and His servants, that is eternal and that is real. So some devotees who have just come to Vaikuntha, we can understand they cannot be equal to the Lord, they must be lower. They must be inferior or less than the Lord. But what about 
the, the devotees like Anantashesha and Garuda, who are eternal associates of the Lord, who always re reside there in the Vaikuntha, are they also less than the Lord? Shouldn't they be equal to the Lord? So we have to understand the Lord is always the, the Lord, He's the one to be served. And the living entities are always subordinate, they're always the servants eternally. Even though the spiritual world, all the devotees have a body of eternity, knowledge and bliss, just like the Lord, but still they're not equal to the Lord. Krishna has this inconceivable power that attracts the devotees to want to worship him. And devotees always think of themselves as servants at the lotus feet of the Lord. Even though you, they may have been in the spiritual world eternally, like Garuda and Anantashesha, but they only know the mood of being the servant, and they're happy to be the servant. So that's it. the power of devotional service is inconceivable. Haribo. Haribo. Hare Krishna. Sati. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 